tell us a bit about what you're thinking for the look? So, yes, Chloe isn't a very big or heavy makeup wearer. She loves makeup, obviously, while she's here. <laughs> but isn't really into heavy looks. And to be honest, I think she looks gorgeous when it's more natural. So we're going to go with those really beautiful bronzy tones, working with shadow and light, because we're going to be outside. There's going to be a lot of contrast with the lighting. So keeping it fresh, glowy, but in the name of today, something that's a little bit more mattified and something that's fail safe. So we have actually a bit, of, a bit of a laugh in the team because Chloe uses the shade Boom in the primer, which we're all like, what? Because it's really designed for someone who's a lighter African skin tone. So then when you're using it, I'm like, what is this? But actually now that I'm here, she's totally a Boom with a bit of burst in it. So just a heads up, if she's saying that she's using Boom as the colour, really it's a very, very, very tan Caucasian people, a lighter African First Nations people. So just a heads up, it's quite a dark colour, but it works. <laughs> so even though Chloe's a massive lover of Clementine, because she's a bronze babe, um, I'm going to make her like April because it's my favourite. Um, but it's a really beautiful burnt butter, so we're going to be using that higher up and then layering a bit of Clementine later. Okay, so we're going to go straight into the powder. I'm going to be powdering the rest of the face later, but it's important, particularly under hot environments, to set under the eyes quite quickly, otherwise there's sort of bit movement. So I'm just going to be using the translucent part of the powder on the areas that I've brightened. Now again, Chloe's not a very heavy makeup wearer, so it's more about the sheer veil, which is why this powder is so phenomenal. For any of you that have the same problem where you feel like powders can texturise, cake out your skin and make you look heavy, this is why this formula has been created by us because we want to make sure it feels like a sheer veil on the skin as opposed to something that's more textural. Okay, so it would make perfect sense for a look like this. We're going to be throwing, she doesn't really notice yet, but we're pretty much like throwing her in the water and expecting that she'll swim later. Um, so under that kind of pressure, we know that the um, Loyal Lash Mascara holds up because it's transfer proof and tubular. So I'm going to pop lots of this on her so she can be drowned and still look delicious. <laughs> So let me explain the pencil choices. You know me, if I'm gonna be doing someone's makeup on my own, I'm very much about creating multi-dimensional tone. So I'm gonna be using Sarah as a kind of contour outside and then Stella inside for that nudie kind of kit. This is my favorite combination. Finished with the first part of the look. It always feels a bit heavier at this point because we're in high light. This shoot is actually a sunset shoot, so we want it to be able to translate through all those lighting conditions. So we're a bit powdered, but um, gloriously bronzed and stunning. Um, really fun, longevity is key for today's shoot for sure. <laughs>